how do we preserve a accessible and equitable education given the conversations that we're having, um, especially around affirmative action, but not necessarily having the conversation around legacy. I, I just see the world, the universe perhaps between in humanity, two forces, uh, us versus them and just us. I, I wanna be in the justice, <laughs> the just us uh, category. And the problem is often people think of affirmative action as, um, uh, as something that's about black people for black people and so on and so forth. Not understanding that, that this is about all of us being a more successful society here in the United States of America. It's not simply correcting for past ills, but you can't let wounds fester without thinking that there's going to be, uh, that the body as a whole is not going to suffer from that. My great grandfather didn't have the same opportunity to go to Harvard, I'm sorry, as some other people's great grandfathers or grandfathers. We, we, we need systems so we can compete in the world that create, that, that, that mine the talent and the genius of everyone because there's as many geniuses being born in the lowest income parts of Newark as there are in the highest income parts of New Jersey.